Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Humpty Dumpty. I take three fingers over here on the left and right about here I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw an oval. So I draw a curve line down, over, up, connect. On the right hand side I draw a straight line out. On the bottom, straight line out. On the left, straight line out. On the bottom, straight line out. I come back up to the top on the right and I draw a straight line down, straight line in, connect. Come over here on the bottom, straight line out, straight line down, connect. Over here on the left, straight line out, straight line over, connect. And up here, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Coming back over to the right, I draw a curved line. One, two, three, four, connect. And on the left hand side, I'm going to do it again. Curved line. One, two, three, four, connect. I come back on the right and I draw a curved line out down, over, connect on the right and come on the left, curve line out, down, over, connect. Starting right here where my dot was, I go zigzag, 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 zigzag. Come over to the center part and put one dot, two dots, little curve line, little curve line, curve line in the middle and now we're just going to draw a circle. Connect. Come down over on the left hand side and we're going to draw a skinny rectangle. Skinny rectangle. Then inside I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left to the edge of my paper Come on the right hand side, straight line down to the edge of my paper. Starting on the left, draw me a straight line across, straight line across. One more if you have room, but if not, that's okay. Come back to the part, top part and draw me little straight lines going across. Keep going. Now, in between, I'm going to draw another straight line on the second level. Keep going, and everybody might have a different amount depending on how you draw. And one more on the very bottom level all the way across. Now, because I want Humpty to look like he's moving, I'm going to do what we call animation line. So I draw a curve line one, two on the bottom left, curve line one, two on the upper right. Okay, let's see how we're going to color him in. Okay, Humpty is pretty easy to color in. The first thing I'm going to do is color in his mouth black so it looks like he's screaming. Then I'm going to use my primary colors and I'm going to do his arms red. I'm going to do his legs blue. And I'm going to do his hands yellow and his feet yellow also kind of like a yolk. Then I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color the top part of my bricks brown and if you have a lighter brown or even a red I'm going to come in and color the opposite brick left over with um, the little change of tone with my browns. You can use red, you can use brown, you could use any color you want. It's his wall, so it could be any color you want. Now, just to fill in the background with a little bit of color, I take my blue crayon and I draw straight lines all the way across. Now, don't draw through your picture. Jump over all the way. Keep going all the way. 
Okay, there we go. Let's see what Humpty looks like all colored in. Here's Humpty all colored in. Looks like he's in trouble, needs some help. Okay, bye-bye.